National Signing Day, North Dakota State women adding one here in this late signing period. Jory Collins here to talk about it. Gabby Ford going north of the border to find a player. How did you kind of get in touch with her? Yeah, it, that was interesting, Brian. Uh, you know, uh, Dylan uh, does some of our junior college and, and international, just scouring things. You're always looking for players. And um, she was a name that popped up, was, was previously committed to a Big 12 school. And uh, there was a coaching change last year, and she became available. And um, you know, with COVID and all that, a lot of weird things happen. We just, you know, went to work on her and uh, really enjoyed getting to know her. I think she's somebody when people come in and get to talk with her, she's, it's getting harder to harder to have conversations with kids these days, Brian, but you get on the phone with Gabby and it's, it's just real easy. Uh, and I love her ability to communicate. Um, she's just a great young lady. And that coupled with the players you're able to add in the fall, and what what you have coming back, you got to feel real good with where the roster is right now. Yeah, you know we're going to have uh, a big roster. I mean, we're going to be full on our scholarships and, and a couple walk on kids too. So, um, you know, when you're trying to build and build something sustainable and for the future, you got to have waves of players coming in uh, that you think can be impact players uh, at some point in their career. We have a great young nucleus now, but there's no question we needed to add. Uh, some players in spots and continue to build super quality depth and and when that young group becomes older and, and moves on we're going to have players in place that we think can can keep us competing at a really high level. I know hoping for maybe a postseason opportunity after the Summit League tournament ultimately didn't happen just missed out on that with the WNIT but for this group to accomplish what it did were they were you were they happy were you satisfied I mean how would you how would you characterize well, this season? Well, you know, it's hard to say you're satisfied, Brian. You felt like we had a really good chance at the WNIT and, and obviously just missed. I think we were maybe the, one of the first or second alternates on that if somebody would have had to cancel for COVID or uh, one of those things. And um, I feel like we've made a great jump, and, and, and we need to make another big jump. Um, but I think our players, you know, see what we're doing and how we're doing it, and they're excited about it. They believe in it. Um, you know, we obviously got off to a great start last year. It was, you know, due to the schedule, we were playing, you know, some hard teams really, really late that maybe put a damper on how we finished. But overall, the farther we get away from it, we're going to look back and say this is a great stepping stone for us. As a coach, I know this must have been extremely challenging for you and your players this past season. Are you excited for the potential of actually having a somewhat normal or regular off season? <laughs> yeah, I mean, just, you know, right now we're in postseason and, and working out multiple days a week, and we didn't get that at all last year. Uh, and, and I've already seen tremendous growth in our players in, in these last two weeks. Um, and, and to be able to know that we have that and then are going to be able to have a full summer with those guys, uh, the development that we're going to get to take place is it's really exciting. This is one of my favorite times of year, just getting in the gym and working on your game and, and working on your fundamentals. Uh, I just think that's where a, a tremendous amount of growth can occur. I appreciate the time, Jory, and uh, enjoy the summer, enjoy the spring, and hey, the season will be here before you know it. I'm sure it will. Thanks, Brian. <laughs>